Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. My name is John Jester and I will be your host this morning. And just right off the top, I want to thank you for watching yeah. Morning Prayer. This program is all about you. And so we want to go ahead and get you involved. Yes. 877 281 6297. We're taking your live prayer request right here and we'll be praying and partnering with you in faith. Speaking That's of right. partnering, I've got some partners hey, this hey. morning. <laughs> Mary Kurth is with me this Good morning. morning. And we have Holden Hanley over with our prayer ministers. Holden, how's things going over there? You know, it's awesome. Our prayer ministers are here. They're ready. They're ready to take your calls. They're ready to stand in faith and be in agreement with you. Amen. And you know, the Bible says when two or more are gathered together in agreement, the mm -hmm. I am always shows up. That's absolutely right, Holden. In fact, I want to kick off this morning with that scripture just to anchor us as we get ready to pray. You know, the, the whole purpose of this program is partnering with you in prayer. Prayer. We want you to be involved. And so go ahead, wake your kids up, get your family up. Y'all go ahead and get up and get to move and maybe make a cup of coffee. But we want your prayer support, your prayer supply with us this morning. This is an interactive program, 877-281-6297. You can use that phone number as your point of contact. Matthew 18, verse 18 says, Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven again I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask it will be done for them by my father in heaven for where two or three are gathered together in my name I am there in the midst. And so we've already got prayer requests this morning. Tracy from Silmar is praying for her family, healing and a better home. Father, right now in Jesus name, we come together with Tracy according to this scripture. And Father, two or more of us are gathered together in the name of Jesus, praying for her new home and for her family to be healed in Jesus name. Father, we're also praying for Patricia from Georgia for healing and finances. Lord, we thank you for healing and finances in that situation, whatever it is. For Elizabeth, Father, in, uh, in, uh, for Elizabeth, for healing, uh, for Phyllis and for rheumatoid arthritis. Lord, we thank you that rheumatoid arthritis is a name and it's a name that's under the name of Jesus. And so Lord, we give you praise and glory for that healing. Father, we thank you for Marilyn and Harvard that she's being healed from body stiffness. Those muscles are releasing right now in Jesus name and for Melanie and Arkansas, who's praying for healing. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that her, hus uh, her husband is healed. And Lord, we thank you that her friend is healed. Father, we thank you that you're touching them in the name of Jesus and you're healing their diseases. In Jesus' name, Jesus. amen. Mary? Yes, sir. What you got over there? Well, I've got a couple things. First, I want to remind everybody yeah. that we have a free download for you. We want to bless, bless you with this. It's called Faith-Filled Words Dominate the Laws of Sin and Death. And when we put God's word in our mouth and we release it by faith, it's powerful. Yes, it, it changes is. things. It changes the atmosphere. It changes our bodies. It changes mm -hmm. rules and regulations on our behalf. Mm -hmm. And this just reinforces that and helps you get that down on the inside of you. Amen. Walk in that power. Amen. So you Amen. You can get it at govictory.com slash morning prayer. It's a free download. Praise God. Hey, Holden, do you have any prayer requests coming in over there? Yes, sir. I have Dina from Apply Valley, California. Believe in God uh, for her, her daughter's lives in fear. We're believing God that that fear is broken off in the name of Jesus. And we're believing for Diego, her nephew, to be uh, to experience the salvation of the Lord. So Father, right now we pray and the word says perfect love cast out fear. So D uh, Dina's daughter is being delivered from fear in Jesus name and laborers are being sent across Diego's path and he will be saved in Amen. Jesus name. I have Dominique from North Richland Hills, Texas, believe in God to be delivered from drugs in the name of Jesus. That stronghold of addiction is being broken off right now. Jesus was manifested to heal all that were oppressed of the devil. Every stronghold is being broken off your life right now in Jesus name. I have Janelle from Oklahoma, believe in God for strength and for healing. I have Patricia from Atlanta, believe in God uh, for uh, uh, to be uh, for strife and her friends family to be delivered in Jesus name and then I have my 
pages are stuck together here. <laughs> I have uh, Delroy from Ocala, believe in God for strength in the left side of his body. So Father, in the name of Jesus, right, yeah. I thank you so much that strength is manifesting. Yes, is. We rebuke and break strife in the name of Jesus. We thank you so much that every work of the enemy is falling short right now now and Thank Jesus you. is being Thank exalted you. in their lives. Yes. You know, we talked about earlier about how two or more are coming to agreement. We're on the more side this morning. <laughs> I'm here, Pastor John's here, Mary's here, our prayer ministers are here. Not only that, but you're here. Yes, you're right. here this morning. You're bringing your faith. You're bringing your supply. And the prayer and the agreement that you bring to this show Glory is helping God. bring deliverance to your brothers and sisters all across the world. So we want to encourage you, even if you don't have a prayer request, call in for somebody else and we will stand in faith and go to the word 877-281-6297 again that's 877-281-6297 and let's see Jesus manifest in the lives of everybody everybody that calls in all of our brothers and sisters all of our viewers and everybody in the name of Jesus Mary back to you amen I'm excited to hear the testimonies that come in today I've got some requests here. Burma from Chicago, favor and a job. Right now you are a daughter of the most high God and we uh, believe you receive all the provision you need right now. Karen from Natalia, Texas, believe for peace of mind and sensitivity to the Holy Ghost. You are a daughter of God. So you hear the Father's voice and a stranger's voice you do not hear in Jesus' name. Linda from Oklahoma. Um, she he needs healing in her left shoulder. Linda, right now I agree with you in the name of Jesus that that yes. healing quickly manifests in your shoulder. Jane from New Caney, Texas, um, she's praying over depression. So right now I just wanna encourage you, Jane, to cast all your cares upon yes, Jesus because Lord. he cares for you. Yes, he, he is does. there for you and he, he can take there. care of anything that is staring you down. Yolanda from Woodbridge, Virginia, um, she's believing for her sister to be released from prison and for healing. So right Praise now, Yolanda, God. we de declare that God is working on your Faith. sister's behalf yes, and that all things work together for her yes, good. She Lord. loves the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you know, you, I want to remind people, there's so many people across our nation that are going back to work, uh, getting back into the swing of things. Our nation, in many states are opening uh, for business. So and so I want to remind you that you can download the Go Victory app and take us with you in the mornings. Take us with you on your way to work. Take us with you while you're at work. Many people have called us with testimony saying, I called the prayer line, I called morning prayer and got an immediate manifestation. I'm believing for an immediate manifestation for every prayer request that we pray for. Amen. And I'm believing for that for you. So download that app, that's Go Victory, the Go Victory app, and take us with you. Also, give us a call, 877-281-6297. Sue in Temple, Arizona, a call for deliverance for her son, Matthew. Father, right now in Jesus' name, I thank you that you're delivering Matthew. Whatever is happening, Lord, you are mighty to save. God, you have a, you, your, your arm is not weak, your reach is not short but Father, you are mighty to save in Jesus' name. Joan in Como is praying to be healed uh, and for deliverance from sensitivity to sun. Father, you Thank created you, the sun. You established the sun. God, the sun is yours, Lord, and I thank you that she's not sensitive to it, but as a son and a daughter, as children of the Most High God, we rule and reign on this earth. And so, Lord, I thank you that you're giving her whatever it is, you're changing whatever it needs to be changed in her body for that sensitivity to dissipate in Jesus' name. Mary in Highlands Falls, New thank York, you. is praying for favor for a job. Now, Mary, you take your job by faith. I believe mm -hmm. that you have all the provision necessary and there's the right job, the right opportunity opening up for you. So Father, right now, I thank you for the right door to be open for Mary in Jesus' thank name. You, Father. Amen. Hey, Holden. Yes, sir. What prayer request do you have? Absolutely. I have Ann from Pampa, Texas, believe in God for her ankle to be healed from the bone damage that was caused by arthritis. You know, that arthritis is cursed. It's under the name and the name of Jesus is more powerful than arthritis. And that ankle, anything, any damage of it is being restored right yes. now. So so your Jesus. ankle is healed. I have Larry from Alabaster, Alabama. Um, believe in God for healing for William and Casey. They were going hiking and a tree fell on them and they're now in critical condition. Father, in the name of Jesus, we speak life. We send forth the word of life into William and Cassie. And according to Psalms 107, we send forth the word and it heals them in Jesus name. And we look forward to hearing that testimony. 
I have Lorenzo from New Mexico, Believe in God, um, for our daughter's court, for uh, him to continue to be clean from drugs. Uh, whoever this him is right now, we're believing God for continual cleansing and that he will remain delivered and he will stay delivered and he will live his life as a life dedicated and a sacrifice for the Lord Jesus. I have Larry from Anem, Believe in God for finances in the name of Jesus. Uh, Philippians 4.19 says that my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Not according to what's going on around here, but according to his riches and glory. I have Linda, believe in God for family salvation and mom's healing. Everybody in your family, the Bible says that um, Cornelius is, and his whole household was saved. Praise the Lord. Your whole house so is saved and your mom is healed in Jesus' name. I have Robin from Hazlitt, believe in God for healing in his eye. The Bible says that Christ was anointed uh, to bring sight to the blind. So there's healing manifesting in your eye right now yes. in Praise Jesus' God. name. Back to you guys. Thank you, hey, Father. Hey, listen, we've got about uh, we've got several calls that are waiting to be answered. And so I want to encourage you, if you're calling, call back. Keep calling. 877-281-6297. Make sure you call us back. Just keep calling. But that call is a point of contact. And right now I want to use that phone call as a point of contact for Christy in Archer, Florida, who is praying for healing to manifest from infection and any disease. Christy, right now, wherever you are, just lay your hands yeah. on your body right now. And Father, we thank you for a manifestation in her body. Father, we thank you that the supernatural is flowing through her and Lord, she called in as a point of contact. She called in just like that woman reached out and touched the hem of your garment. So thank Lord, you. I thank you that you're healing her just like you healed that lady. Yeah. Lord, you th I thank you that you're clearing up any infection right now in the name of Jesus, right now, a quick work right now for Christy in Jesus name. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Birdie in uh, Batesville, South Carolina called in for healing for her feet. Father in Jesus name right now we thank you that 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 she's being healed in the area of her feet right now Steve in North Carolina wants debt freedom and a closer walk with the Lord now I'm gonna pray for debt freedom but I'm telling you Steve you have a cl as, as close of a walk with God as you want get in the word start listening build your faith encourage yourself God wants to be close to you even more than you want to be close to him father in Jesus name right now for debt freedom I thank you Lord that you're canceling every debt by faith. Father, you're opening up opportunities for those debts to be dissolved in the name of Jesus. Eloise in Warren is praying for healing for her husband's colon. Father, I thank you that her husband's colon is healed and whole in Jesus name. And Father, I thank you you're clearing out whatever needs to be cleared out in the name of Jesus. And Vivian in Roebuck is praying for healing for her sister, her family and salvation. Father, I thank you that you're bringing salvation to her entire family. And Lord, you're putting workers, laborers in their path for the work of salvation in Jesus, Jesus name. name. Mary, who you got? I've got a testimony. Glory this to God. Cynthia Glory to God. Charlotte. She called in previously uh -huh. for surgery due to cancer. She called back this morning. The surgery was successful. Praise God. She's recovering very well. And get this, they didn't find any cancer. Gl Glory to Praise God. Praise God. God. Mary, I'm telling with you, you, Cynthia. Those phone calls, those points of contact, they work. They absolutely do. They work. Glory God's to word God. works. Yes, it does. Sandra from Lakota, uh, she's believing for healing for her brother-in-law, problems with the heart and liver. Right now, we just speak to that heart and call it steady, fixed, and strong, and that yes. that liver operates yes. the way God yes. created it to. Alan from La Crucius, um, kidneys healing. Right now, we just speak uh, the healing power of God into those kidneys right now that they yes. function normally. Dan from Tuba Thank City uh, praying over his family, healing and protection. Right now we just plead Psalm 91 over your family, Dan. Just camp in Psalm 91 and confess that. Vivian from Raleigh, um, she's believing for faith to grow and mature in God. Praise God. And just piggybacking on what Pastor John said a minute ago, you know, the more time you spend in the Word, mm -hmm. the more time you spend getting to know the Father, the more your faith grows and the more Amen. mature you become in him. And in fact, I want to sh show you this video clip from Pastor Terry, and she talks about just that. So watch this. We value praying in tongues and the move of the spirit. But most of all, we value the word of God in our lives. And when we do, our hearts become sensitive. We hear those words. The word goes in like a seed and it produces. And what did Jesus say? Blessed are your eyes because they see and blessed are your ears because you hear and I can turn and heal you. 
praise God. He turned and healed. He turned and healed. So many people are praying for healing this morning and I'm believing that your body's being touched. I'm believing that you're sensing a change in your body. Patricia in Darlington is praying for healing from carpal tunnel in both hands. Patricia, right now, just hold your hands up. Father, in Jesus name, I thank you that you're touching Patricia's thank hands. You, Father. And Father, that you're loosening, you're there, yes. they're letting go. Those joints are, are active, Father. I thank you for full movement in her hands and in her wrist. Lord, I thank you for it right now in Jesus name. Now, Patricia, you do what you couldn't do. And we want to hear the testimony. So you call us back 877-281-6297. Call us. The Bible says that they overcame by the word of the lamb, by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. So Thank we want to hear that testimony. Chris in West Virginia is praying for his father's lower back. Uh, could be kidneys or his back. I'm saying it's not going to be either. Father, Thank in Jesus Lord. name, I thank you that you're healing whatever it is right now. The attack of the enemy will not prevail and it will not prosper in anything Thank in the name of Jesus. Elaine in Durham Springs is praying for healing and restoration from a mild stroke. Father, I thank you that all mobility, all function is being restored to her body right now in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus. Nancy in San Francisco is praying for peace in her home. Father, I thank you that that home abides in peace mm -hmm. and that peace guards every person. Peace guards the heart and the mind of every individual in that home. And Father, you've established that place as a meeting place for Nancy and her family. And so, Father, I thank you that that peace of God is established there. Vi uh, um, Valona in American Falls is praying for healing and finances. Lord, you're healing her body, but not only are you healing her body, Father, I thank you for restoring her. All finances, everything that she needs, everything that she needs is supplied according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus right now thank in you, the Father. name of Jesus. Holden, I'm sure th th our desk is full and I'm sure you have several prayer requests that have come in. What, what you got over I there? I do. You know, first off, before I read any prayer requests, I don't know if the, the, our viewers can watch, it can hear the, the noise going on around here, but our prayer ministers, the phones are ringing. I can see the screens, the requests are coming in. And you know, I love when I hear testimonies like that because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But those testimonies can stir up the faith within you. If God did it for somebody else, he can do it for me. And I have some healings right here that we're believing for. And Pastor John, I love what you said one time, future testimonies. That's right. I have future testimonies of healing right here. I have Emma from Johnson City, believing God for healing for Tammy. In the name of Jesus, Tammy is healed. Jehovah Rapha is manifesting yourself right now to her in Jesus' name. I have Bill from Debbie Line, believing God for healing in the name of Jesus. Uh, they are healed. I have Annie from Benton Harbor, Michigan. Uh, Benny needs healing in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is, I don't even need to know what it is, but God knows what it is and he knows how to, he, he knows how to heal it. He knows it is in his nature to heal in Jesus name. I have Carol from Nashville, North Carolina, believing God for restoration of her daughter's leg. Um, the, 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 the prayer request says there's a bullet in the calf. I don't know if the bullet's still in the calf or it's a bullet wound from the calf, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, we're believing for total and complete restoration. Uh, according to one Peter chapter two, verse 24, that by his strength, she was healed in Jesus' name. Pastor John, back to you guys. Hey, Holden, I want you to hang out with me and sure. Mary because I want us to agree uh, for these two prayer requests that came in. Rosalind in Denver, Colorado uh, mm -hmm. called in and she said that she's praying for comfort for of her family from a COVID-19 loss and uh, for COVID-19 strength to overcome Amen. depression. And Mindy in Erie, Pennsylvania called in. She wants comfort after her daughter's passing. So yeah. Father, right now for this yes, family, Lord. for both of these families, Lord, Lord, we thank you for comfort. Lord, the yes, Holy Jesus. Spirit being the thank comforter, you. the one that comes alongside, helps us thank in you. times of need. But Father, I thank you that you said you would not leave us alone, but yes, that you Jesus. would send the comforter to us. And so Father, we have that comforter. And Father, I pray that that family would not just be comforted, but God, that they would get bolder in their faith, yes. that they would get bolder in their stand yes, for Lord. Jesus, that they would get bolder yes, in Lord. how they pursue the things of God. And Father, we thank you in the name, of Jesus, the name of Jesus, it's manifesting now 
Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. You Amen. are being supernaturally yes. comforted. We've got Thanks. so many Enjoy. prayer requests this morning. We've got prayer requests for people. Uh, th there's not a name on this one. It just says his brother's diagnosed with COVID-19. Father, I thank you that COVID-19 is a name and it is bowing its yes. knee right now. The, the spirit life of COVID-19 has been destroyed and overwhelmed by prayer. And so, Lord, we give you glory for it in Jesus' name. Bruce in Phoenix, Arizona is praying for healing healing for uh, shoulders and a restored colon. Father, I thank you for healing in his shoulder. And Lord, I thank you that his colon is operating the way you created it to operate right now in Jesus name. Susie in Liberty, South Carolina is praying for healing. And so Father, we give you glory. Lord, we thank you for healing, Lord, from this cancer. We thank you, Lord, that this uh, cancer is dissolving. You said in your word that you came to dissolve, to undo the works of the devil. And so Father, I give you glory for that. Thank Carl you. in Newark in uh, Newark, Ohio is praying for healing in his right wrist. Lord, I thank you that that right wrist is opening up right now in Jesus name. And Rose in New Mexico is praying for healing. Lord, I thank you. You're healing Rose. You're healing Rose. You're touching her father from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Be healed in Jesus name. Amen. Mary, Amen. who you got? Okay, I want to share, if you haven't called yet, 877-281-6297. Go ahead and give us a call. Definitely. Um, these are, um, I want to share these together. So this okay. is Florine from Farrell, uh, Pennsylvania. She called in believing for healing from cancer. She mm -hmm. received a cancer diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Florine, I just want to encourage you. In my other hand right here, I hold a testimony from Mary Ann from God. Ashland. And her friend Larry is healed Praise of cancer. God. Praise God's God. power is available and, and ready. He's ready. He yes, wants he you healed more than you you yes, do even. Yes, he yes, is yes, ready right, right now to take that out of your body. So yes. Father, right now we just agree Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Uh, with Florine that she is redeemed from the curse of cancer. Yes. Terry yes, from Lord. Washington, Lord, DC is believing for healing. We agree with you that right now Jesus uh, power is at work in your body. Elizabeth from Baldwin, um, she was healed from severe leg pains. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. Praise God for that. Stella from Lumberton, um, she's believing for healing for her sister Doris. Well, right now, Stella, we agree with you that your sister is healed and whole in Jesus' name. Teresa White from Plains, um, Maryland, a grandson Elijah to be healed from mutinous. Doctor said it's a speech impediment. Uh. You know, we have a really cool testimony of a family on staff that their sons um, o overcome this exact thing. So God can rewire that brain yes, and make can. it all work. And that yes. mutinous is cursed in Jesus yes, name. This is. little boy is blessed, yes, blessed, is. blessed in Walks Jesus in name. Lord, we thank you for that. Father, we thank, thank you. you for that. Hey, um, Holden. I know you've got more prayer requests. We've got about seven minutes in the program right now. And so Amen. I want to go ahead and get you in, uh, get those prayer requests in. What's going on? Sure. Well, I have a testimony right here. You know, Pastor George says all the time about how we rejoice over all miracles, right? Mm -hmm. I have Linda from Longview. Sunday night, her dog was in pain and couldn't sleep. She prayed in the spirit over it that he would sleep. He went to sleep and then called here Monday morning. So yesterday morning and prayed and she took her uh, pet to the vet and she found absolutely nothing wrong. Praise God. So so praise, praise the God. Lord for that. I have Lana from Windsor, believe in God for a good report on the heart. I'm reminded of what the word says. Whose report will you believe? I can tell you, Lana, right now you have a good report that your heart is healed, that your heart is whole, and that he heals you from all sicknesses and all disease. And I'm, we're believing in agreement with you that the doctor's report will say the same thing Amen. in Jesus' name. I have Cinda from Des Moines, believe in God for her brother Chris. He had a brain injury in the name of Jesus. Whatever happened in that brain, everything is working out and the Lord is perfecting that which concerns him. I have Joanne from Greensboro, believe in God for peace uh, for family. Uh, there was a death in her family and for traveling protection. Pastor John, we're coming into agreement with what you prayed yes. earlier, that the comforter the great comfort, the Holy Spirit who is sent to comfort those in situations like this. So right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are comforting Joanne and her family right now as they go through this time. Father, I thank you, Lord, for travel protections that you're sending forth thank the you, angels yes, charged to surround and protect them. Uh, I have Jim from Mississippi. He has two requests. He has a toothache and a financial breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, God perfects all that concerns you mm -hmm. and everything that you need, he meets according to his riches and glory. And then I have Eb Eb Ebony from Maryland, believe in God for my, uh, healing for migraines. You know, migraines are a name and they have to bow their feet to the name of Jesus. Yes, they do. And we're in agreement with that right now in Jesus name. Pastor John, back to you. Praise God. Hey, I want to remind you 
that when we go off the air, we've got about five more minutes in the program. When we go off the air, we're still here. So you can use that phone call as a point of contact all throughout the day, 877-281-6297. Our prayer ministers are trained in the word of God and they are powerful people in faith and they will come into agreement with you. We've got so many testimonies. A lot of our testimonies come in from morning prayer, but many of them come in from people calling our prayer line and getting a prayer minister to come into agreement with what they need. And so I want to encourage you to call 877-281-6297. We want to pray with you. Dolores in Stevens Point is praying for Michael's healing and Dolores' healing. Father, in Jesus name, I thank you that you're healing them both. Lord, I thank you that you're healing them and not just healing them, God, but I'm praying for freedom for them. Lord, that they would walk free of whatever this situation is in the name of Jesus. Clarence in Detroit is praying for healing, uh, for congestion. Father, I thank you that you're healing not just him, but also his wife. Father, I thank you that Alzheimer's is a name and congestion is a name. And Father, that the name of Jesus is higher than both of those. And so Lord, I thank you for the healing manifesting in his body. I'm praying for that virtue to flow through first both of their bodies right now in Jesus name. Sonia in Durham is praying for healing for her daughter. Lord, I thank you for healing her daughter right now. And I thank you for deliverance. God, that you would show yourself, manifest the truth to her in Jesus name. Marie in Fayetteville is praying for her sister's salvation and freedom from addiction. And uh, Marguerite in Mount Vernon is praying for her sister, Diane's pacemaker uh, to stop acting up. Father, in Jesus name, I thank you for both of those, for both of thank those you, praying Father. for their sisters. And so Lord, I thank you that you're bringing quick resolutions, quick salvations, quick healings, quick deliverance right now. The Holy Spirit is active in those situations in Jesus thank name, you, amen. amen. Mary? You know, before we go today, I just wanna remind you again yes. about our free gift that's good for this week. We wanna bless you with it. You can get it at govictory.com slash morning prayer. It's an audio download by brother Kenneth Copeland. It's called uh, Faith Filled Words Dominate the Law of Sin and Death. Yes. You know, everything in our lives mm -hmm. is changeable. That's right. By faith filled words and what God has promised us. That's it can all right. change. That's absolutely right. All right, we've got about three more minutes. Hey, Holden, yes, take sir. about a minute. What prayer requests do you have? Absolutely. I have Tita from West Yellowstone believing God. She has two grown sons and she's believing for favor and the court system. Those sons are surrounded by favor according to Psalms chapter five. I have Annie from Thompson's uh, believing God. Her daughter in law is being tested for COVID-19 and she's praying for negative results. Right now, we're in agreement with that in Jesus name that those results will come back negative. Why? Because the spiritual life of COVID-19 has been stripped and you're blessed and the curse can't come near you, near your daughter-in-law in Jesus name. I have Patsy from Drexel Hill, uh, issues on the job resolved to have favor with her credit score. Again, favor in the name of Jesus, you do have favor. You're blessed and highly favored of the Lord, Patsy, in Jesus name. And then I have Mary from Douglasville believing for healing for her friend from bone cancer and believing for her own healing from high blood pressure, blood pressure and heart issues right now in the name of Jesus, both your friend and you are totally and completely healed. Why? Because Jehovah Rapha is coming on the scene Thank and you, everything Father. has to bow its knees to him. When he enters in the room, healing comes in Jesus Amen. name. Pastor Amen. John, back to you. Hey, we've got one more minute. I wanted to get this one in. Wanda in Morganton, Georgia is praying for her daughter's teeth that she's having oral surgery this morning. And we've got several others that are here on the table. Zuri, come on, bring those in. We're going to lay hands on all of these as we Thank get ready to Father. go off the program this uh, this morning. But make sure you join us tomorrow morning for at the same time for morning prayer. Also join us this evening for Victory Update at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. Father, in Jesus Thank name, we give Father. you glory and honor. First and foremost, God, we honor you and we give you glory because all of these are people that you love. They're people that you love. God, they're sheep of your pasture. And so Lord, we're praying right now for quick manifestations of healings, yes. of deliverance, of, of, of breakthroughs, Thank God, of financial uh, breakthroughs, of health breakthroughs, of family Thank breakthroughs in Jesus name. Jesus. And Lord, yeah. we give you honor that we give you glory, Father, for you said that every promise in the word of God is yes and amen. Yeah. And so Father, your answer to every one of these prayer requests is a yes. It's a yes for Wanda's 
daughter who's going into yes. surgery. God, it's a yes right now for Connie who has circulation issues. Yes. God, it's a yes it's right a now yes. for Lena in Arlington who yes. needs yes. favor. Father, it's a yes it's a for yes. Leslie. God, it's a yes in yes. Jesus' name. Yes. And we thank you for that manifestation Father. of the yes for every one of these Amen. praise requests. We give you praise for them in Jesus' name. Amen.